Martin Fairclough and a manager here at Manchester Undisputed. I've been um, running this facility now for two years. I uh, opened the doors in May 2010 and the, the progression that the academy has taken from then to now is absolutely second to none. It's bustling, the place is packed and it's full of opportunity for young people, young and old as well, but primarily I've focused on the, the age group of 13 to 16 year olds and offering them once they leave school, if they've not got any education to take with them into the future, we're providing that pathway for them to engage back into the educational system and just get them off the streets, education, focus and away from the life that they, that they were currently engaged in. Uh, my name's Mike Morris, I'm the uh, community manager at Bury Football Club. So we pretty much always see a team uh, working across a lot of different themes set by the Football League. So we work within health, inclusion, uh, sports participation and education. So we have staff across all those departments. I was approached uh, about two years ago now uh, about the education elements as we've always traditionally done education with football using the, the sport uh, to further develop the, uh, them as people, uh, the young people, uh, and also to reinforce uh, their, their attendance and it was like a, like a, re a reward system and it was Marty's idea to sort of link in with that and replace the football with the elements of MMA. My name is Jason Lamb and I'm the uh, head wrestling coach here at MCR Undisputed. About two years ago I got approached by Martin, um, they had no wrestling coach at the gym and uh, I think they interviewed a few people for the post and stuff like that and I was successful luckily enough. Um, so it was about two years ago I actually came into the gym and I've been here since. Uh, I've been involved in wrestling all my life, well at least 33 years now I've been wrestling on and off for. I started wrestling at Bolton Olympic Wrestling Club uh, as a junior, went all the way through, I was on the junior Great Britain squad. Um, my children are now Great Britain athletes as well but it's the feel of the club. I like what they do, they involve young people and they don't turn people away so if there's young men uh, that are struggling or they're unemployed or they've got problems in their life and they want to come to the gym they welcome them with open arms and I like the fact that not only do they do the training but they do the education side as well, do you know what I mean? So they don't just look at the physical side, they look at the academic side which is, we all know these days, you can't just make it uh, as, a, as a physical specimen, you, you need to be all right academically as well, even for the fighters, you can't just be a fighter, you know, you, you need the academic side to fall back on. So I, I, I like the feeling of the gym, so that's why I stayed. A lot of the young people that come here are from broken down families, um, abusing drugs, come straight out of prison. So I work with a lot of authorities that refer people directly to me from these uh, places like prison, like uh, homeless units and things like that. What I want to do is create opportunity for people. I want to change people's lives for the better. It's what I stand for, it's what I'm all about. And also I've got two young babies myself and what I want to do is I want to show them to be equally as passionate about what they want to achieve. It might not be about changing people's lives, it might be about whatever uh, goal that they find in their lives, but I want them to, to look at their mum and think, I, I, want to, I want to be like that when I grow up. I want to be as equally as passionate as about what I want to achieve. But I genuinely want to change people's lives for the better. You know, it's, it's a tough society, it's a tough world out there nowadays. But if I can just make a little bit of a dent in all the badness that's going on out there and create something so positive and inspirational for people, then my life will be so much better as well. I mean, you know, it's very positive. Um, you know, the, the sport of mixed martial arts has obviously exploded in particular over the last three or four years and people uh, and gyms such as this and what Martin's doing, you know, the, the, the positive element. If you go back a, a many years, you know, boxing had the same kind of ethos, uh, trying to get children off the streets and into the gym. And obviously it's crossing over now with, with MMA, so it's, it's a very positive thing to do. There's many gyms that I'll go around and see, and they've all got the same thing with trying to get the kids off the streets. Obviously Martin's doing something slightly different with a, almost like a scholarship, you know, giving kids like a pathway. And like I said, you know, that's only ever a positive thing, so credit to her. I still teach, you know, I still train. For, for as long as it lasts for me. But um, yeah, I'm still obviously, I mean, I'm four and a half years out of competitive um, arena, but obviously I still look after, you know, there's certain individuals that people know who I train and uh, I still train myself, albeit fairly limited now. Uh, it's very busy at the moment. I'll be back with um, uh, the next big show uh, in the UK is Bama. Before that, I'll be out to the Middle East again with Cage Warriors. Then uh, UFC are back in uh, September in the UK. And then I'll be back out to Brazil in October, um, possibly China in November, a few seminars in between. So uh, it's a busy time. Yeah, I'm uh, looking forward to it.
Hi, my name's Rob. I'm part of the Monster Undisputed team. Um, I work behind the scenes. Um, I'd like to show you around our new establishment. Well, here we are in room one. Uh, this is going to be for our Thai boxing. Um, as you can see, we've got a new matted area and a full boxing ring. Um, so it's looking good, quite live and active. Right, we're approaching our monkey bars. This is a static piece of equipment for um, our circuits and conditioning. Um, the matted area, it's sample size. It's nicely sponsored by Sandy. Um, can't wait to get it all live and up and running. As you can see, we've got a new boxing ring, which is going to be an amazing experience for fighters and sparring, um, as real as you can get it. And we're off into room two, the biggest part, which is um, mainly for our MMA, and we've got um, punch bags and a 20-foot cage. It's ample size and if you want to take walk down with me here, you can see. So this is where it happens. This is where everybody got, gets stuck in and uh, trains to the to the mat. So we've got the nice new heavy punch bags. Need breaking in. I think I'll let the lads do that. <laughs> and um, if you want to take a step down here we've got a 20 foot cage if you want to have a walk rig the lighting up so we can we get the music playing and we can get it as real as possible as to show when we turn the lights off we can have we've got a pathway of lights coming down there we'll activate the cage and then turn the music up and get a real feel for what it's going to be like when you step into a show we've got the bell This is our newly equipped cage. Um, as you can see, it's just exactly like it would be in the show. And there's our big logo, Manchester Undisputed, backed by Fight Shop. Um, my name's Ian Wright, I'm the managing director of fightshop.com. We've worked with Martin from the very beginning, um, from formulating the plan to bring him to basically what you see today, which is um, probably one of the best MMA gyms that we're associated with. We provide sponsorship to the fighters. Um, one thing that Fight Shop's always been is a, a sort of provider of sponsorship to grassroots fighters. Um, too many people go after purely the people that are the big names on the big events. We believe in sponsoring uh, up and coming talent. We've been associated with people like Ross Pearson um, throughout his time up until him going into the UFC, but mainly uh, Michael Bispin, who's the number one contender. I'm going to just explain a little bit about what we do here. For those of you that don't know, we are obviously a mixed martial arts academy, so we do um, submission grappling, wrestling, Thai boxing, strength and conditioning, and a variety of other things. There's nothing really that you can't find under this roof if you're looking to get fit and train hard. The journey has been a very interesting one for the last two years. It's, we opened up with a view to offering a diversionary activity to young people, away from crime, drugs, away from the wrong behaviour that they were getting involved in. We targeted deprived communities, so we could offer it at subsidised cost to young people. There was no barriers basically to opening the door and letting people come in and train. What we found is that the growth of the academy was astonishing. As soon as we opened the doors, people flooded in. And we, we engage with like there's probably fifty to hundred people a week coming through the doors. It was outstanding. I was I was gobsmacked at the response and the need within this community for a facility like this, what we've got here. It's you guys that make this happen, it's you guys that have made all this happen by just coming in here and fulfilling what I wanted to achieve. It would never have happened without these guys that are standing next to me and these have made the team that you know, I've got Scott must have been head coach. Jason Ram, wrestling instructor. A new addition to the team is going to be Darren Phillips. Got Mike Morris as well, who offers the educational part. Very quickly, we grew from just offering this diversionary activity to people to offering education provision as well. You know, not only was we offering an academy that you could train in, we were providing further opportunity for these young people to progress within the sport and to gain qualifications. 
which when you've got a young lad who's just come straight out of prison for doing armed robberies or, you know, serious drug taking or serious drug selling, you know, and all of a sudden their life's being turned around, not only the training and engaging in physical activity, they're gaining qualifications now, taking them all the way up to university should they wish to do that. You know, providing an opportunity that these young people would never have had before. You know, but it's not only about the opportunity I've created for other people, you guys have also fulfilled my opportunity and created something special for me, very, very special. You know, my goal was to create this academy and make it bustling with people coming through the door. That was my aspiration, my dream, is to see all of you people standing in front of me and wanting to train under the instructors that are here. Your needs are pretty much split into two categories, so you've got your school leavers who've never entered into the sort of college environment, the further education environment, and you've got the ones who've gone into mainstream education, such as a college, a mainstream college, and dropped out after six months, 12 months. Um, so targeting those two sort of areas and providing a service that's not traditional college. So academically, they do the same things, but because you've got so much more practical element to it and the way it's delivered and the environment it's delivered in, you sort of... Um, inspire the young people a little bit differently so to speak so doing it that way we tend to find our retention and success rates are a lot, a lot better we, we have a lot of kids who dropped out of mainstream college and come to us and then, then completed the courses just because it's the right environment for them I think the vision's got to kind of mirror the vision that we have for football anyway so within football we have foundational learning progressing to level 2 we have BTEX uh, level 3 which is equivalent to 3A levels which you can gain to university access to um, so we have that, that pathway straight from level one to three, from school leaver to university, uh, using football as a tool. Uh, we've replicated that at level one and getting towards level two for elements of MMA. Uh, we have contracts now to do the BTEC for football and futsal, which is Brazilian football. So the sort of vision now is to replicate that at level three level for the elements of MMA uh, and, and have the same pathways really. Change at the venue. Uh, well, we've been in this in this particular premises for now um, three years. Um, we initially came in here as an absolute tip. Built it up. We had a good good state of the art gym beforehand, but uh, unfortunately, due to a leak uh, over Christmas period, we've had to rip it all out and start again. But it's, we'll start again for the better. Yeah, we've just uh, made the matting area a little bit smaller. Um, if you can believe that, it's, it's still a large matting area. Uh, the matting area has actually covered the whole um, floor space beforehand. Uh, we've made it a bit smaller. Um, carpeted out and we put more bags in here, basically. And uh, we've utilised the second room a bit more. It was a strength and conditioning room, but we've put a second matting area in there and put a boxing, 16 foot boxing ring in there as well. So, so we can uh, have two classes run at the same time. Well, you've got your MMA classes, your usual MMA classes. Um, you've got your wrestling, your collegiate and Olympic wrestling. We, we have the, the Greco, it all comes under the same thing for the wrestling. Um, that's on at the moment now. A little demo with Jason Ram there. We've got some of the lads warming up. Um, we've also got the submission grappling classes with myself. It's all no gi um, with my own system. Um, we've got uh, the Muay Thai boxing classes with Darren Phillips. And uh, we've got various other classes, strength and conditioning classes. We've also got fitness classes just for women. We've got teen classes and uh, kids classes as well. We've got a great atmosphere here. And as you can see, it's a fantastic gym. I mean, it really is the business. It's, it's, it feels good. It looks good. And the atmosphere is good, so we, we, we just want to be out there with the rest of them and competing with the big gyms. What can I personally for? Well, start off, you're going to get fit, you're going to get you're going to get strong, you know, training here. Uh, you're going to get you pick, you pick your confidence up. You know, you're going to get second to none your tuition. Um, I've got guys here that have, that have trained with over very experienced and very uh, with instructors with great reputations in and around the northwest area, not to name any, um, and they've come to me. And I'm, the feedback I'm getting is a lot better than what, what we've been to. You know, I've got, I've got experience with Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu lads here who've been graded and they're coming to me for the no-gi uh, and they've not gone back. Um, so I'm giving, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm confident of my ability in teaching. My own system, I don't have a particular system like I do Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, I do catch wrestling, I do, it's all a mix, it's all a mix, it's totally unique. Um, so I, 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 I give, uh, you know, the standard and the quality of teaching is what I give. Um, you know, but it's not just that; it's nice and personal. You know, it's a good laugh down there. It's not clicky. Everyone gets on. It's a friendly atmosphere. 
but at the same time, if you want it, we'll, we'll, we'll give you what you're striving for. If you want to fight, we'll make you we'll turn into a fight. If you want to be fit and strong, we'll, we'll, we'll do that for you. If you just want to be social, you know, you come to the right place. So just, everything's there. So this building is absolutely huge. There's 36,000 square feet cumulative of space here. And what I want to do is turn this into a massive community hub. So you walk through the door and there's everything possibly if a young person wants to engage in leisure activity, there's going to be something for the individual to take part in. Once I've done this, I want to replicate this around the country and around the world. Sounds quite grand, but achievable. Now, the reason why I chose Manchester Undisputed and to rename it is to keep it back to its roots where it came from. So when there's a facility like this in America or Brazil or China, what I want to do is keep the Manchester name there to say, you know, it's Manchester, it's undisputed. The word undisputed speaks for itself and I can take it to the next level around the world. Uh, fight Shop as a, as a company, a leading company and suppliers of fight gear, second to none. I wouldn't have anybody else's equipment used in here because it's equally about safety as well as everything else. You know, and I want the people who come in here to train and be confident with the equipment that they're using. I approached Fight Shop and I spoke to Ian from Fight Shop and told him about the educational provision, what we was offering as a mixed martial arts academy. And he was like, I love it. The concept of what you are offering is brilliant. And we'd like to help promote this as, as a company. We'd like to help promote it and support what you're trying to achieve. And without these partnerships with people, I couldn't do what I've done so far. It's a, about a team creating each other's opportunities and making this massive. Fight Shop have been second to none with their support so far and I'm looking forward to a, a successful future partnership working with them. My name is Darren Phillips, uh, I've been involved in Thai boxing for about 30 years now. got my own gym, uh, which I opened about 16 years ago. We've trained about 50 Thai boxing champions out of there so far, ranging from junior area champions to we've got a two times adult world champion. I'm also a professional boxing coach as well. I uh, do a lot of work with uh, Scott Quigg, who's a British, Thai, uh, British champion. Started with doing Thai boxing, he's moved to pro boxing now. I think he's currently ranked number three in the world by WBA. I know what Martin does and I strongly believe in that kind of stuff. It's not just about competition. The other aspects of what martial arts gives to people for me is far more important. You know, respect, uh, you know, confidence and just respect for yourself and respect for other people as well. And, and discipline as well, that's discipline so important. It's a hard graft trying to make a living out of Thai boxing and there's a hundred things other that I could do other than that and I'd probably make some, I used to work in uh, finance in Manchester before I jacked it all in and I made mean, a good living and everything and I'd have a very good living if I wanted to now but I get so much more benefit out of working with the kids and adults and doing what we do, I mean I've had some fantastic results with you know everything right across the board, adults have come to me on the wrong side of law and turned their lives around and become very good Thai boxers, one runs his own gym now he makes a living out of it. Kids who come to me being bullied, or I've turned around, kids who come to me who are bullies, and I've, I've got some respect, and you know, they've turned themselves around. People, I've had lots, so many situations, for example, where people have started Thai boxing, and the parents have come to me up the next time they've had a, um, a report from school, if you like, and said, You wouldn't believe they're changing it. You wouldn't believe that you know, the teachers comment on it all the time, they're changing the attitude and things like that. And that's why I do it. Like, I don't know if you've been filming, like you see me there with the seven, eight, nine, ten year old kids. I sit and train with them all day long. They're fantastic. I love it to death. You know, you get a lot of people don't want to train kids. I train kids all day. I love it to death. You know, and, and the benefits they get, not just from being able to do Thai boxing, but what it gives to them in their life is, is so fantastic. I'm going to bring Connor on next. Because Connor's like a prime example of a young person that's come through the doors, low confidence, low self esteem, and he's worked his way through to becoming the young person that he is now. And I'm proud of these lads. I've got Callum as well. He's probably hiding because he thinks that I might make him talk. <laughs> you know, but I'm so proud of these lads. So, so proud. You know, Jack, Ayres. There's, there's a lot of the faces are here today. But Connor particularly wants to say something. I've asked him to. You know, he sat down last night. He's worked hard on writing this little bit of a speech out. So give him loads of praise and credit because it takes a lot to stand in front of people and speak. You know, so Connor. My name is Connor, I've been training here for about two years. I'd like to say a big thank you to Scott Fairclough, Jason Ram and Martin Fairclough for all the advice, training and endless support they've given me. Before I started here I had asthma and was unfit and lacked confidence. Then my mate Colin asked me to come training with him. 
Since I started training, my asthma has improved a lot, and I now have more confidence. I also met a lot of people, and I'm about to compete in my first fight in October, which I'm looking forward to. Mixed martial arts has changed my life, and I'm very grateful to Scott, Martin, and Rama for making it possible, and a big thank you to everyone at the gym. Thank you.